Good evening, MCCW fans, and welcome to the 12th installment of Wednesday Night Voltage here in Huntsville, Alabama. My name is Alistair Mayfield, your host and commentator as per usual. Tonight we got a very exciting card along with a very exciting main event tonight in which Weasel Pup and Aichi Yamaguchi will finally go one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight title. This matchup has been building for weeks ever since Weasel Pup secured his number one contendership at Master Clash. It's only gotten hotter since then, but finally these two will have the chance to settle it in the ring. But before all of that, we've got quite a few matches to go through themselves, so without further ado, let's get things started. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Trois Rivières, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 255 pounds, Pierre Desjardins. Desjardins has so far managed to keep up an unbeaten streak ever since his debut here in MCCW on Ignition, and has certainly managed to help him climb his way up into voltage. And his opponent. From Bournemouth, England, weighing in at 285 pounds, Leon Chan. Chan's luck hasn't been the best for him in recent weeks, having suffered losses to Andrew Dance and Kazuko Shirai back to back. If he can manage to pull up some redemption here tonight against the likes of Desjardins, it will certainly put his name back on the map. Fight. There's the bell, and Desjardins whiffing on the basement drop kick. There's back up. Leon catches him with a solid left hand. Oh, and there's an overhand shot right to the back, but Desjardins quick to get back up onto his feet. Irish whip. Desjardins crushes the corner, but escapes it. Ooh, was perhaps looking for a shoulder throw there, but Leon had it well scouted. He's got Desjardins back up. Oh, Pierre with the Irish whip and catches Leon with the basement drop kick that time. Throws him across the ring to the corner. Leon immediately comes back, and he decks Pierre with a solid left hand. Good lord. Punch Canadian back up on his feet, gets caught with another left hook. Yeah. Takes Leon up and sends him over the ropes. Crash into the floor. Leon back in the ring here. Desjardins with a bit of a dance break, and Leon socking him with a right yeah. hand. Oh, but Desjardins with a scoop slam there to the hired gun. Drags him away from the corner. Leon back up on his feet, only to get the taste left out of his mouth. And there's a deadlift German suplex there from Chan. Just displaying his absolute power there. There's an overhand what? shot right to the face. Oh, he gets slapped in the face that time, but Pierre missing with the basement drop kick. Gets pulled back up. Leon throws him into the corner here, lining him up. Nope, Pierre steps out of the corner. Two sizing one another up here. Oh, and here we go. Leon, Pierre, Leon, Pierre. Leon winning the exchange there, follows it up with a big knee drop across the chest, and now hammering away with the right hands. Desjardins quick to knock him off, both of them back up on their feet, and Leon striking first with the left. Following it up with immediate overhand shot to the back. Oh, a couple of knee breakers there. It's caught with the chop. A lock up in Leon with a very big headbutt there. Oh, but now again, just hammering away with the punches here. Trying to beat Pierre into submission, but he's having none of it. Well, back up to their feet. Leon again first to strike. Oh, he's able to block against the kick there from Pierre. Takes him down with a couple shots to the head, following up with a double knee press. Back up. Oh, Leon countering the Irish whip. Lines him up, and there's a big body splash in the corner. Press the Irish whip. Pierre counters. Comes back. And there's a hip toss there from the French Canadian. He's now going for a very legal looking chokehold here. But Leon forces him off. Pulls him away from the ropes. Oh, leaping fist drop right to the nose. Able to sidestep the chop there. Another lock up. Tries to the Irish whip, but Pierre counters this time. Tried to line Leon up there, but Leon quick to escape off the ropes. And there's another double knees this time right to the sternum of Chant. He's able to sidestep the lariat. Catches Pierre with a left hand. Irish whip. Oh, but Desjardins smartly catches himself on the opposite end. 
whips Leon who comes back and there's a big time scoops power slam there from the French Canadian. He's got the hired gun back up on his feet and he scores with the jawbreaker that time. Pulls him away from the ropes. Trying to figure out what he can do next here and there's a massive standing lariat. Catches Leon with a chop and another. Walk up, Leon able to duck that but he gets caught with a modified drop toe hold. Desjardins off the ropes again, and there's the double knees to the back once more. Open back up, another lock up, and Leon this time with the running boot. And there's the knee drop to the chest, followed up with the fist drop. Leon just trying to be quick here, and what a belly-to-belly -belly suplex there by the hired gun. Oh, but Pierre able to hold him with a series of elbows. And now looking to work on the legs here. It's back up. Oh, there's that elbow combination from Desjardins, cover one, two, Chan able to get the shoulder up, oh, now Chan comes back, running splash right across the back, Okay, baby. oh, but Pierre, Ben, you go, he's got him back up, and there's another layer, goes to the cover, one, two, no, Leon gets the shoulder up again. Pierre missing with the drop kick, lock up, Irish whip. Oh, the spine buster! Leon off the ropes, running splash, cover one, two! No, Pierre barely gets the shoulder up from that assault. Right hand from Leon, and another, misses with the third. Has Pierre up there, running power slam! Pulls away from the ropes, is that gonna be enough? He's got him back up, gets caught with the right hand. Oh, now Leon with the uppercuts! Absolutely just sends Pierre crashing to the canvas. Back up, misses on the drop kick. Leon, Irish whip! Decks him with the right! He's got Pierre back up, gets caught with the right, right to the midsection. Pierre! Double knee slam to the canvas! He's got Leon back up, throws him into the corner. Goes after him. Trio wall. Oh, there's a debilitating kick to the midsection there. He's got Leon again, and double knee slam right to the canvas once more. Pierre biding his time, waiting. Money shot, elbow. Well, Leon back up to his feet, so is Pierre, who misses with the Larry, and gets caught up, and there's the power slam once more. Leon for the cover, but far too close to the ropes. Pierre now with the jawbreaker. Pulls Leon away, has him up, trying to line him up, goes behind, gets caught with the elbows. Leon lining him up, off the ropes, running splash to the back. Pierre back up on his feet. He's got Leon up though and takes him down with a vertical suplex. Leon back up to his feet, misses with the chop, Pierre missing with the drop kick. Belly to belly from Leon! Is that gonna be it? One, two! Leon Chan! And just like that, the undefeated streak of Desjardins is no more as Leon picks up a victory here on Wednesday Night Voltage. A much needed one as well to bounce back from the stroke of luck that he's had. And that is certainly one hell of a way to bounce back. Congratulations to Leon Unlucky for Pierre. And with that match in the books, folks, let's move on, on to the next one. <laughs> Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Canton, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds, Jay Carter. Carter had an unsuccessful endeavor last week in a rematch against Andrew Daniels, this time suffering the short end of the stick as he was on the losing end. Looking to get some redemption here tonight, though. And his opponent from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 206 pounds, Exploji. Exploji's had a bit of a successful run on Ignition. And now he's looking to see if he can make a mark here on tonight's episode of Voltage. 
He's got a very imposing figure in front of him in the form of Carter. Fight. There's the bell, and this match is underway. The lockup, an explosion already coming out the gates with a swinging neck breaker there. Misses on the drop kick though. Lock up again. Carter throws him to the corner, but Explosion flips right out of it, only to get caught with a headbutt from Jay. It's back up. Carter this time with the scoop slam has him up. Coming off the ropes, running draw kick right to the face. Explosion with the right hand this time, and another. Jay missing with the left. Lock up again. Irish whip. Carter coming off the ropes, and he bulldozes Explosion there. Sits him up again. Carter off the ropes once more. Drop kick lands square on the jaw. Back up. Another scoop slam from Carter. Pulls Explogy away from the ropes. Going for an early cover here. Carnegie can't even get down in time before Explogy kicks out. Who misses on the Enzigiri. Oh, but now looking to work on the shoulder there. Twisting it about as much as he can. Back up. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, but Jay kicks him right back. Again with the drop kick right to the jaw. Carter really looking to do a number to the face there. Follows it up with a series of punches to the head and immediately follows it with the knee. Oh, now explodes you with the left. Oh, that was a low blow from Carter there. I think he was just going for a shot to the midsection. Guess not. Misses on the shoulder tackle though. Whips by Kirk Hirano from Explosion with the somersault sent on. Misses on the drop kick though. Back up. Carter takes him down with an elbow. Trying to pull him out of the corner. Nails him with that knee drop and Explosion whiffing on the Enzigiri once more. Oh, but he's got the sh arm, I should say. Still looking to work on the shoulder. Both of them back up to their feet, sizing one another up here. Jay takes him over to the corner. Catches him with a stiff left hand there. Two end up colliding there. Explosion with the spin kick. Oh, now here we go. Explogy, Carter, Explogy, Carter, Explogy went in that exchange. Comes off the ropes, running Swans on. Both men back up, but it's Carter with the headbutt. Now with the dragon screw, Explogy up to his feet. Whiffs on the drop kick. Carter knowing very well to keep his distance with the Irish whip and he floors Explosion with the shoulder tackle. <laughs> Discus Lariat! Following it with the dragon screw, Explosion back up to his feet and there's the Enzigiri! Oh, rolls him over, La Magistral! Only manages a one out of it. And catches Jay with another spin kick to the midsection and there's a Hurricane Rana from Bouncy Bouncy. Off the ropes, running Swanson again. Back up, Irish whip. Spanish fly by Explosion. Off the ropes, running Swanton. <laughs> Carter back up to his feet, gets caught with the spin kick. Oh, Explosion got a good kick out of that one. No pun intended, I swear. Pulls Carter away from the ropes, has him back up. Oh, never mind, he had him back up, only to get caught with a kick down low. Give up. Carter with the half crab here. Ah, but Explosion able to break free. Taking advantage. No, Carter makes it back up to his feet. Another lock up, and there's an STO there from Explosion. Pulls Carter away from the ropes. Explosion out on the apron. Springboard! Hurricane Auto! Pin one! Two! Oh, Carter barely able to kick out of that predicament. Takes Explosion down with a massive headbutt. Lining him up! Scores again with the drop kick. Explosion back up on his feet. Irish whip. Carter off the ropes as well and takes it out with the lariat. Follows it up with the dragon screw. And again, really looking to work on the knee there. Well, back up. Carter with the swinging neck breaker this time. And again, still looking to deal damage to the leg. He's got no explosion with the STO. Oh, lining him up. Round and round, what a face buster, off the ropes, running Swanton, Carter back up to his feet, able to avoid the spin kick, double leg slam from the Brutalizer, but Explosion again catching him with that STO, both are back up and Explosion there with the Enzigiri, I almost said super kick and I don't know why, but Carter swinging neck breaker that time, 
He's got bouncy, bouncy, back up! Basement drop kick! Still dealing damage to the legs there. Oh, but Exploji! Scoop slam! He's giving the signal here! Off the ropes! Back handspring, the best damn elbow ever! Shooting star cover one, two, three, got him! Here is your winner by pinfall, Exploji! What a way to debut on Voltage as Exploji picks up a nice looking win there over the Brutalizer. Honestly, I think ever since he took off the mask, he's actually been performing rather well with this new, f with this newly found carefree attitude that he has. Might just do him wonders in the long run. With that match, now in the history books, let's move on to the next bout of the night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Kitamoto, Saitama, Japan, weighing in at 192 pounds, Kazuko Shirai. Little Tiger picked up a rather surprising victory over Leon Chant last week, but almost seemed rather dominant for someone of his stature. But if there's one thing that he can't let up, it's that momentum he's got. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 237 pounds, Andrew Daniels. Daniels has also been on a little bit of a winning streak lately, having picked up victories over Leon Chan, and also a bit of vengeance over Jay Carter last week. He's definitely hoping to continue his momentum train as well. Fight. There's the bell. Kazuko starting off with an elbow there. Tries to go for the Irish whip, but Daniels able to stop him. Oh, but Shirai with the scoop slam there. Daniels back up to his feet. Daniels, ooh, some heavy body shots there. Follows it with the knee drop. But Kazuko with the knee lift of his own. He's got Daniels up. Scoop slams him down. Scoops him up, then slams him down. I know my English, I swear. Fierce chop there from Shirai. Daniels with the double leg takedown, but Shirai able to launch him right off. Back up, Shirai missing with the Lariat, Daniels with the Irish whip, and he catches him with that flying knee. Good lord. Back up, Irish whip. Ooh, knocks Little Tiger down with that back elbow off the ropes, but Shirai back up on his feet. Heavy hitting knees there, La Mahistra. Daniels kicks out before Carnegie can even slap his hand on the mat. Oh, goes behind with the pump strike to the back of the head. Turn Shirai over, cover. Manages a one. Back up. Oh, Sparta Cushion DDT. Cover one. Only managing a one yet again. Back up to their feet. Daniels missing with the strikes here. And Shirai whiffing on the high kick. Daniels promptly throwing him down to the canvas. Back up. Fierce chop from Daniels. Irish whip by Shirai. But Daniels catches himself there on the ropes. Oh, but now here we go. Shirai. Daniels, Shirai, Daniels, Shirai coming out on top with, with that exchange up top, connects with the double foot stomp. Oh, but Daniels, that back kick knocks him down. Shirai back up on his feet, misses on the lariat. Oh, able to trip Daniels up. Twists the leg around, flips over, modified half crab here. It's really working on both legs, but Daniels able to muscle out of it. Back up, Daniels with the Irish whip, sends Kazuko into the corner. Throws him back, Daniels going up top here, and what a face buster. Shirai, back up to his feet, takes him down with the complete shot, has him back up. Blurry vision right between the eyes. They miss on the strikes, Daniels catches him with the chop, but Shirai with the elbow to the back. Off the ropes, running Swanton to the back. Open back up, Shirai with the scoop slam. Off the ropes again, another running Swanton. Daniels misses with that right hand, goes behind, standing switch from Shirai. Modified pin, too close to the ropes though. Daniels looking to fly. High impact splash across the back there. Pulls Shirai away. This little Tiger back up, avoids the chop. Spartacus in DDT. Cover, one. 
two. Shirai gets the shoulder up. Goes behind. Oh, sleeper puts him down. Off the ropes, running kick right to the chest. Good lord. Shirai's rocked from that one. Irish whip, Daniel. Oh, but Shirai collides with Jackson Carnegie, and there's a lariat. Sent on across the chest. Follows it up with the dragon screw. Takes Daniels down with the elbow. Into the cross knee lock here, but Carnegie's out on the mat. He's really wrenching on the leg there. Daniels able to break free. Now the lock up, Irish whip, and there's a vicious palm strike from the gladiator. Back up, takes Shirai down with another shot to the midsection. He's back up, Daniels off the ropes. Absolutely nails Shirai with the bicycle kick. Has him back up. Irish up again, throws him to the corner. Trio woe this time. Now firing away at the knees. Shirai bounces out. Oh, but what a combination there from Daniels. Look at the leg. One, two. Oh, Shirai barely able to get the shoulder up that time. Daniels goes behind. Spinning heel kick right to the back of the head. Daniels catching his breath here. Shirai's rocked. Oh, but he catches Daniels with the face buster. Circles back around. Working the arm. Twisted about. Daniels down, Daniels back up to his feet here. Try the adrenaline spike right on his head. Cover! One, two! Oh, Daniels barely gets the shoulder up there. Try again, working the shoulder. Back up to his feet. Goes up top. Connects with the frog splash. Cover! One, two! No, oh, Daniels again able to kick out just in the nick of time. Oh, and there's a DDT from Little Tiger. It's up top again. Double foot stomp connects. Shirai looking to fly again. Misses that time with the double foot stomp. Oh my god, Daniels, the cataclysm. He just used Shirai's own move against him. Falls it up with the elbow drop. As Shirai back up. Irish whip collides into the corner. Oh, Shirai with the reversal. Daniels, roundhouse right to the side of the head. Look at the leg, one, two, three, he got him. Here is your winner by pinfall, Andrew Daniels. Daniels able to make history repeat itself from the goal, which is he scores another victory over Shirai. But still, that was definitely one match. You could not count either man out in that contest. As much as it was a loss for Shirai, definitely still keep some eyes on him with that performance. But Daniels definitely, with that win, ugh, if I can get my words out properly, moves him up in the ladder in the rankings there with that. So good effort from both. But a lot of congratulations are in order for Daniels on that one. And with that one in the books, folks, get underway with the pre-main event of this evening, which has been one that has some talk surrounding it for some time. Now we finally get a chance to see it here tonight on the 12th episode of Voltage. So without further delay, let's get right into it. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 260 pounds, Death Trap. Death Trap has constantly been talking about how much he deserves to be in contention for the world title. And tonight just might be the night this number one contender's bout. And his opponent from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 190 pounds. Jason Justice currently sitting at number one in the rankings here. Justice has every right to make a claim to be the next contender for the World Heavyweight title. But Death Trap is currently the one hurdle that stands in his way. Folks, I do apologize. I did mean to announce earlier that this is a number one contender's battle to see who will go on to face World Heavyweight Champion 
at the end of the Mastery Tour in September. You know, Justice with a single leg takedown. Oh, follows it up with a shot right to the midsection. Already the youthful Justice here looking to dominate a bit early on here over the XHF legend Death Trap. Oh, as soon as I say that though, Death Trap with a heavy hit and knee strike. Oh, but Justice with that hip throw. Both of them back up to their feet. DT with that series of knee lifts, following up with a knee drop. Justice misses with the double leg takedown. Now, oh, and DT already looking for an early death trap here, but Justice able to wiggle his way out. Fireman's carry from the people's dude. Oh, going into guard position here. Oh, what a back press there. Both back up to their feet. Trump was looking for the Irish whip, but Justice caught himself on the ropes. Oh, he's got him pinned down, and there's a deadlift gut wrench there from Justice. Back up. Oh, and Death Trap with the breakdown. Catching Justice square on the side of the head with that one. Back up. Death Trap, that martial arts prowess coming out once more. Turns over into a half crab here. But Justice immediately grabbing the rope. ET misses with that roundhouse, gets caught with the left hand from Justice. Oh, but he catches Justice with that elbow to the spine. Pulls him away. Knee breaker right to the canvas. Lock up. Oh, now here we go. DT, Justice, DT, Justice, DT, Justice winning that exchange there. Back up onto his feet, going for an early cover. One. Manages a count of one. Just DT with another left hand. Oh, Justice with the Irish whip, but Death Trap absolutely floors him. Stomp to the leg. Cocky cover. Only manages a one count, though. Oh, Justice has Death Trap back up on his feet. Whips on the kick, and Justice makes him pays for it. Oh, Death Trap counters into an arm triangle choke here. Give up. Oh, but Justice able to muscle out of it. Both men back up to their feet. Death Trap with the Irish whip. Misses with the flying knee. Justice pursuing after him. Oh, but Death Trap luring him in enough for the jawbreaker. Falls up with another stomp to the leg. Flips him back over to the half crab here. Really trying to work on the leg, but Justice able to break free. A lock up. Justice with the right hand. Irish whip. Crashes into the corner. Justice lines him up. Misses with the elbow. Oh, and there's a roundhouse there from Death Trap, but Justice throws him into the corner. The Trap's able to stumble out of it. It's a very powerful arm drag there from Justice. Death Trap back up to his feet. Irish whip comes back when he crushes Justice yet again. Back up. Irish whip. Belly to belly there from Jason Justice. Death Trap on his feet. Irish whip from Death Trap this time. And he makes Give Justice up. fall right down to the Fujiwara armbar here. It's going to be enough. No, Justice able to break free. Again. Justice with the sweep. Picks Death Trap up and slams him down right into the canvas. Justice going up top. Diving leg drop right across the throat. Back up. Oh, Death Trap with the left hand. And another. Oh, but Justice with the shot to the midsection. He's got Death Trap back up. Justice off the ropes. Running STO. DT back up to his feet, though. Irish whip. Rebound. Drop toe hold. Oh, and DT with the knee breaker. Follow it up. Back up. Justice! Final judgment! He pulls Death Trap away from the ropes. We know where this is going! Justice serve! He's got it locked in pretty tight. Is Death Trap going to submit here? No, he's somehow able to break free. But Justice has him hooked to the head. He spiked Death Trap right on his head. Cover! One, two! No, oh, Death Trap gets the shoulder up just in time. Oh, and Justice gets caught with that kick. Death Trap rolls back. Bow and arrow. Really just bending the spine here, but Justice able to wiggle out of it some way, somehow. Oh, the Death Trap main attraction! Cover! One, two! 
No, Justice again able to kick out just in time. Oh, there's that sweeping throw. Has just not just his death trap back up on his feet. Irish whip. Comes back. Another belly to belly. He's got DT back up. Double leg takedown. Whoa, flips her into a jackknife. Oh, but he's caught up in the ropes. DT misses on the kick. Justice with the right hand. Oh, death trap. The breakdown. And both men absolutely wiped out from exhaustion at this point. Justice able to avoid the roundhouse, but he gets brought down with cut the strings. DT pulls him away. And now he's got it locked in the death trap. The death trap is Justice going to submit this time. Death trap really pulling back on the neck here. No, Justice somehow able to break free. Oh, but Justice to the head. He drilled him with that cover. One, two. No, death trap kicks out again. Oh, but Justice Sunset Flip, one, two, no, again Death Trap able to kick out, oh, Face Buster, into the Death Trap again, is it going to be enough this time, Justice in a world of hurt here, is he going to submit, no, again able to break free, something's got to give at some point, here we go, Death Trap, Justice, Death Trap, Justice, Death Trap with the roundhouse. He's got Justice back upon his feet. But Justice reels him in to the head again. Justice back up to his feet, but so is Death Trap. Death Trap rocked though, and he catches him with that modified stunner. DT up top. Diving splash, cover, one, two. No, oh, Justice again able to get the shoulder up. Pose DT away, back up. Oh, Death Trap with that martial arts combination. So rocking Justice with it. Just back up, oh, Justice able to take him down with that hip throw. Oh, you can really see the wear and tear on both men. Trying to see who can outlast the other. Irish whip, drop toe hold. Oh, and Death Trap into Seattle stretch this time. And Justice taps. Here is your winner and the number one contender to the MCCW World Heavyweight Championship, Death Trap. Despite everything in his arsenal to stop the legend, Justice could not overcome the man that is Death Trap. Congratulations to DT. He would say he would come back for the belt. And he's certainly well on his way to doing that as he claims the number one contendership. Unlucky for justice, but he's but if he's able to redeem himself and pick up that pace that he had prior, he could very well be back on track to being in contention for the title once more. And with that folks, we are finally here for the main event. One of the most hotly talked about matchups over the course of the past few weeks ever since the contendership was decided and a title was claimed. Without further delay, we will, let's get to see who will walk out of Huntsville tonight as the World Heavyweight Champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the MCCW World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first from Devonshire, England, weighing in at 278 pounds, Weasel Pop. Erwin Harvester has one heck of a road to get here after claiming contendership, but now he finally gets to get his hands on this man. And his opponent from Onomichi Hiroshima, Japan, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the MCCW World Heavyweight Champion, Eiichi Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi was able to claim the gold all the way back at Night of Champions 10 in the final of the gold rush against Death Trap. Now he's got his first real t test as champion with this defense against Weasel Pop. There's the bell, and we got the main event underway here. Maguchi with the right hand to the jaw. Oh, Irish whip. He's back. Weasel able to duck the uppercut. 
Size one another up here, and there's a shot right to the throat from Weasel Papa Yamaguchi. Catches him with the elbow. Oh, he catches him with the left hand that time, and Yamaguchi with the hip toss. Pulls Weasel Pop away. Weasel back up to his feet. Yamaguchi trips him up. Back up. Oh, Weasel Pop looking for the torture rake here. Yamaguchi able to wiggle free. Gets caught with the right hand. Weasel with another. Oh, but Yamaguchi with those debilitating kicks to the ribs. Pulls him away, but Weasel Pop catches him with that back kick. Both of them back up to their feet, circling about. Weasel catches Yamaguchi with that kick, but Yamaguchi! Oh, with that MMA background there. So they fall on Weasel Pop off the ropes, and there's a kick right to the ribs. Good lord. Misses with the headbutt, and Yamaguchi again with the kicks, and now hammering away with the left and right. Weasel able to throw him off. Back up to their feet here. Lock up Irish whip, but Yamaguchi with that ring awareness to catch himself. It's caught with the left hand. Up, oh, oh, here we go. Aichi, Weasel, Aichi, Weasel. Aichi winning the exchange there. Off the ribs, running kick to the ribs again. Back up, oh, there's a knee left right to the chest, and now Yamaguchi with an ankle lock here. Looking to deal some damage to the big man's legs. Weasel able to kick him off. Trying to combine out and off there, it did not sound right. But Yamaguchi with the elbow to the jaw, off the ropes, and again, still looking to work on the ribs here. Catches Weasel Pop with another right hand, Irish whip. Comes back, and Yamaguchi floors him with the palm strike. And now again looking to work on the legs. Misses with the back fist. Oh, he's able to counter Weasel Pop there. He's got him back up, circles around, off the ropes. Misses with the running STO. Oh, but Yamaguchi again with that combination. Now it's his variation of the half crab here. Really just pulling up on the leg and trying to just make Weasel Pop eat the canvas at the same time. Weasel with the right hand, misses with the headbutt. Throws Yamaguchi down to the canvas. Pulls him away. Yamaguchi back up to his feet. Gets dropped with an elbow. Cover. Yamaguchi able to kick out. Lock up. Well, Yamaguchi lovers last kiss. One, two. Weasel Pop able to get the shoulder up there. Yamaguchi really showing some strength on that one. And there's a stability kicks yet again. It's caught up in the rope, so with that submission. Trust the Irish whip, Weasel Pop reverses. But Yamaguchi again with the ring awareness to catch himself. Weasel Pop with the left hand. Irish whip, Yamaguchi crashes into the corner. Misses with the back fist. Oh, but he's got the Black Magic Woman locked in here. Is it going to be enough to make the Harrowing Harvester submit? Oh, Weasel Pop able to somehow flip Yamaguchi off of him. Drops him with an elbow, follows it up with the stomp. Oh, he misses with the palm strike. Yamaguchi again, lover's last kiss. One, two. Oh, Weasel Pop again able to kick out. Irish whip, Yamaguchi as well catches Weasel with a bicycle kick. He's got him back up. Oh, Weasel, the left hand. Oh, and he floors Yamaguchi with a headbutt, pulls him away from the ropes. Oh, and now Weasel Pop hammering away with the left hands here. Oh, he knocks Weasel Pop right off, though. And immediately capitalizing to the half crab here. Is it going to be enough to make the Harrowing Harvester submit as he's just pulling up on the ankle? Oh, Weasel again able to throw him off. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, what a shot to the throw from Weasel Pop. But Yamaguchi again, that martial arts combination. Scott Weasel Pop back up, goes behind. Oh, he drops back, cross face, chicken wing. And he makes Weasel Pop submit. Here is your winner by submission and still the MCCW World Heavyweight Champion, Eiji Yamaguchi. Final answer. He looked rather dominant in that. I don't... Honestly, I'm kind of speechless on that one, because... Eiichi really took it to Weasel Pop there, and it really didn't look like he gave him a chance to breathe at all in that match. 
And give Weasel the chance to unleash the inner spirit of the wolf. And with that, Yamaguchi able to walk away. Successful in his first defense here. But, if anything, he now knows down the road that he's got himself a rematch from the Gold Rush against Death Trap. When that match is going to take place, that's up for debate. But if I'm doing the math correctly, it actually might happen at the end of the Mastery Tour. And most likely at Mastery in Detroit when that happens. So folks, you don't want to miss out on that one for sure. Okay, Ronnie, what's with the special effects? A new champion was not crowned. I don't know why the fuck he had that text pop up. Fucking kid. But anyway, folks, with that in the books, that is going to wrap up this week's edition of Wednesday Night Voltage. Kind of in a bit of a downer note. That main event wasn't exactly as flashy as I thought it was going to be, but some weeks, what can you do? I think Yamaguchi just really wanted to put out a statement that he is not someone to be taken lightly and that he definitely is a force to be reckoned with here. Yeah, with that, folks, my name's Alistair Mayfield, and I will see you all tomorrow night for Thursday Night Ignition. Take care, and good night.